Oh, that one will be more. Yeah, that 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 will be the 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 what do you call pawn shop side, right? Okay. Yeah, but but just from the go go itself. Go has for the past not even one thousand four hundred years. What two thousand years? In fact, the uh, um, dinar and dirham isn't isn't an Islamic money. It's basically prior to that. The Romans were really using using gold and and silver as money itself. Okay, and if you understand what the characteristics of money is, has to be something which is scarce. Easy divisible um, um, and a few other elements. So gold actually fits into that particular characteristic, which makes it into um, very much um, 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 easy to use as a, a acceptable form of money. <laughs> okay. In the modern world, since we have fiat money, which is money created by the central banks and such, then gold has fallen out of favor to be used as money because no country in the world now uses gold. Everybody prints their own money. Okay. So gold has been pushed to one part, one corner of the room, okay, to be treated as if there are issues with the printed fiat money, this is where you can go and seek safety from. Because you do not have to worry about people printing gold. There's no way you can print gold. And this has been historically for the past two thousand years, something which has widely been accepted as a safe haven in times of crisis and such. When one week ago the British pound tanked and the British um, uh, financial system almost came to a Lehman Brothers type of situation, okay, two things went up. Two things happened. The volume of Bitcoin traded on exchanges went to historical levels. Gold coin bullions, gold coins, sold out throughout the whole of UK. That shows you the 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 the, the reaction of people when fiat money comes under duress, these are the places you seek to get away from that, which is go and 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 when I can Bitcoin even now taking taking some of that characteristic. Okay. So so that is the role of of, of go in my view. So the pros of go is to have 10 percent maybe 15 percent of portfolio that will be the insurance against any um, of this kind of um, situation the cons of gold is basically it's a slow moving asset which will frustrate you when other things are going up it may not move up as fast you know if you draw a chart of um, uh, uh, equities and gold you'll find that equities have outperformed gold in terms of return Gold, in my view, is not an investment where you're going to make. At certain times, you will make good money because, um, in 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 certain periods, it just jump a lot. It does, but it doesn't provide you that consistent return that equities provide you. Okay, so I tend to see it more as a insurance part of a portfolio, um, and I use it ten. Um, uh, unless I have a really strong view that I think it's going to go up very strong in the next 12, 18 months, then there's a tactical reason behind it. But otherwise, it's very much a, a small little part of that insurance part of the portfolio. 